Hey there everyone, welcome to another sketchbook tour. Uh, today I'm showing you one of my bigger sketchbooks. Um, I just completed pretty recently. I haven't been drawing in sketchbooks a lot lately, so this is the most recent finished. Um, anyway, let's start it. I also ripped the cover um, doing something I don't remember. Uh, I started out uh, drawing this girl. Um, I believe I sketched her out and it came out really good and then as I was inking her I just started kind of losing a lot of the line structure that I liked in the original picture. So I don't, I don't know, I don't particularly enjoy that one. Uh, then I just moved on uh, doing some smaller sketches, trying to get my hands warmed up. And uh, this was me practicing with my dip pen and some ink and some more ink <laughs> dip pen work, uh, a lot of it. Um, this was a concept I had um, of a girl standing on a boat looking over at another um, oncoming ship. Um, this was some of the drawings I did um, getting ready to do one of my chalk art pictures and this was uh, the same picture as that last one I just showed just sort of adapted to where she's actually looking at you instead of at the ship Uh, some light kind of gesture sketch working on mermaids I just kind of wanted to use some markers right here These are sketches of some Napoleon Dynamite characters because uh, my husband and I were watching the movie at the time. This is from a book called um, Anatomy for the Artist and I wanted to draw some of the reference images from it. I was going to draw a piece um, with accurate perspective, but I really am having trouble understanding perspective, so I just kind of stopped in the middle. Well, there's a page I left blank, and I didn't know that. Uh, this was a, um, what do you call it, like a thumbnail sketch, sort of, like a beginning concept idea for um, the coffee girl drawing. This was a drawing of my friend Wendy. I was practicing some hand lettering. <laughs> uh, I think my mom asked me to draw some Facebook animals. These were blindfold challenges. I know there's actually a couple of them in here, so let's skip past because my camera kept getting off centered during that. Uh, the art from the Crayola challenge. Practicing um, with the Crayolas, like afterward. I'm just drawing some poses and stuff. This was, this was all kind of like last year, this sketchbook kind of carried with me for a full year, so some of this stuff isn't great because it was just a really long time ago and I was also having some artist block during it all. 
this was when I was drawing Raisha uh, for Katie did for our collab. I also drew her a um, reference image of Lucy so she knew um, what to draw with her side of the collab. Sometimes the quality difference in my art is just extreme. <laughs> I don't understand it. I would talk about all of these, but I just feel like I'm going to be saying the same thing. This is a girl that I drew. I was having art block. <laughs> a lot of them. This is just like an entire art block sketchbook. I was trying to be very loose with the whole thing because I just want to keep myself drawing. And that's why there's so much empty space that hasn't been drawn. I know this is sort of referenced from somebody else's art. Uh, one of my original characters, Gidget, and these were some other kind of reference drawings of her. Uh, it was Haru from My Little Monster, and just some other little sketches on the side. I was going to try to draw one of those Skyrim trolls, but then realized it was way too hard and decided not to finish. Um, I was I think I was doing a drawing every day challenge, but it didn't quite, you know, I don't think I drew every day. I stopped really, really soon after these. Uh, this was one of my favorite pictures in the book. Um, I don't know how well it's picking up on camera. Um, the proportions and everything, but... I just thought this one came out really good. Some practice drawing Toon Link. Some more sketches in pink pen. I believe I did a video on this. Um, a sketch with me video. Uh, just some practice drawing sad faces and some angry ones. I was practicing with my brush pen right here. Hang on, my dog is squeaking his squeaky toy. Charlie! Charlie, come here. Come here, baby. Sit with mom. Okay, now I have Charlie. Uh, I was trying to design like a logo for my channel. Um, I have my waving mermaid there right now. <laughs> you see Charlie? Charlie! Show the camera. Say hi. So anyway, that was one of the pictures I did for that. Some other ballpoint pen type sketches. Um, I was practicing a comic right here. Uh, I don't know if anyone else watched this. When I was a kid, we didn't have TV, like like real TV, like Nick and Disney and stuff. We had like these local channels and there's this show called Pappy Land and I swear this show was where I like got all of my desire to be an artist from because <laughs> I used to follow along with the tutorials from that show and uh one time he drew this caveman and I remember drawing it so well that I just like never got it out of my head <laughs> So even today, I still remember the tutorial on how to draw him. I don't know, if you if you remember that show, tell me, because I, I wonder if I'm the only one that watched that. Uh, I sketched Kim Possible while waiting for my husband to get out of his job interview for his job that he has now. Uh, I was practicing with some watercolor at this time. Oh my gosh! I love this. This is supposed to be me, and I want to start, like, a webcomic or, like, a Slice of Life comic where I'm, like, you know, the com the comic's main character, and this is going to be me in the comics, and I really want to do this because I really love how she came out. 
Um, I think I was just taking random requests or something from my family sitting around me on what to draw. And continued that on this page. Things get a little better in this sketchbook after getting rid of a little bit of art block. Just things become slightly looser and a little more like... I feel like I put a lot more effort into these. Drew a succulent because I just, I don't know, I really like them. I hear you, Charlie. Doing a video right now. Uh, I drew this for my brother. It's supposed to be him. Uh, I was going to draw Isabel. And I think I was going to do a challenge with her, like, uh... I can't remember what challenge I was going to try to use her for. I don't remember. Maybe like Sharpie challenge or something. That would be fun. Uh, this was a drawing of... Who is it? Luke from Harvest Moon. I uh, converted over to a colored pencil piece, which I have around somewhere. Uh, everything is upside down, but it's not really worth turning over to see it right side up. Uh, this was like a Club Penguin penguin. I also really like this cat. It has a lot of personality. And more... I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I really don't. Just writing. Uh, this was pretty recent that I drew this. It was only like a month or so ago. I'm just trying to draw more animated action-y poses. This was me designing a color scheme for one of the paintings that I have yet to finish. More pages that got, like, leaked on. Oh, my husband drew that. I don't know. A lot of this stuff... Yeah, I guess that's it. That was disappointing. The disappointing ending to that. <laughs> so there's a couple of pages that I really like in this sketchbook, but a lot of it was going through a pretty hard time and having a lot of art block. So it wasn't my greatest sketchbook, and a lot of this isn't my greatest art, so that's why it's in a sketchbook where nobody can see it. But now, of course, the um, my YouTube channel followers can see it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, you know, um, I encourage you all to draw in your sketchbooks as much as you can because even though some of the drawings don't come out good and you want to throw them away, it's an encouragement to how you used to draw, like a lot of this was how I drew last year and I feel like I'm getting a lot better <laughs> now this year, so that's pretty awesome to have this all cataloged for me. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!